Hi, welcome to my little chat today about one of the Australian wildflowers that are in my Australian wildflower reading cards. I'm the author and the artist of this deck and other publications that I'm working for surrounding flower reading and connections with nature that we have that we can find guidance and healing and balance through. So this is my first publication it's, and it's a set of reading cards and this is one of the flowers that I painted and I drew and I wrote about. I take a very long time researching lots of different connections when I create the, uh, the descriptions and the keywords and put it all together so it's a tool for you to use. Now this time I was going to go outside to the bush that's straight opposite me. I'm, I'm very close to Garrigal National Park, straight across the road from Oxford, Oxford Falls area um, in Sydney. But this one that I painted, and this is the original artwork, and this is the card that Rockpool created from my artwork there. This was actually painted from this tree that's flowering right, well actually there's two of them <laughs> straight outside my little office. This is my little office where I write and put things together and do all my sort of admin work as well. It's actually just a little converted bedroom in my house. But it's on the second floor and you can see how tall it is. And my entire window space is actually covered in, in beautiful bottle brush. And that to me is fantastic because this is where I do all my thinking. Those of you and planning and, and all the sort of, you know, all my mental work happens up here. And those of you who are familiar with flower reading and with essence work will know that the flower of bottle brush, and as I said, this is the actual flower, but the actual flowers are these little things here. And then lots of little flowers make up the spear. So it is a spear, and spear flowers are about thoughts, they're about mental activity. So while Obviously, the language of flowers, the language of nature, the doctrine of signatures will say to us that this looks like a, a brush, a bottle brush, and that's about cleansing. Any brush sort of um, flower and plant will indicate that. It's still in that spear shape, and it's, this one's red. There are other colours as well, but this one's red, so it, it's very in sort of aligned with our emotions and our passions as well. It's about creativity. So bottle brush comes up a lot for people who are pregnant, wanting to get pregnant. The energy surrounding those sorts of things. It's also obviously with incubation, it's about incubating an idea. Bottle brush is flowering now. We're coming into late spring in Sydney. So in this area it's it's flowering now. When I lived in the United States, I lived in California and I was so happy to see so many bottle, bottle brush growing over there and all different colours as well. It grows really well in those sorts of, those sorts of um, areas. It is something that you can grow as well quite easily that comes in lots of different sort of sizes and colours. If you go to your local nursery and have a chat, it's definitely something that I would have in any garden I'm in. I'm, I'm lucky here, this is a very transient place for me at the moment. I'm only here for, a, been here for a year, I'm here for about another um, eight months or so. But it's a fantastic one to have because it attracts all the birds. And even yesterday I had two black cockatoos out here. I have a lot of native miners, love all the, the bottle brush, they, they eat all the nectar. Of course I have all the rosellas as well. So, and the native bees, this is, these attract cuckoo bees. I see them all the time out here at my window and out in my garden I have a lot of bottle brush. So it's a really important plant to put in as well. And look at it, it's beautiful. Who wouldn't want to have it in their garden? So as I said, energetically in an oracle reading, we're talking about cleansing, we're talking about incubation of ideas, especially around creativity. If you're wanting to start new creative uh, projects, bottle brush essence, bottle brush around you as well is fantastic to sit with while you're brainstorming, while you're creating, while you're thinking, sketching out things, you're putting down those sort of almost final stages before you really commit to a project too. You're sort of doing all that mind mapping, the people who do that, it's fantastic for that sort of thing.
but again it is about cleansing as well so uh, if you need to cleanse and get rid of things you need a fresh start bottle brush is really good for that and the red especially the red one gives you that that energy that you need as well and that power base there is pink sort of a more pinkish hued bottle brush obviously that is direct physical healing and then all the other colors you can have a look at how that aligns with the things that would put a subtle layer over the top of that as well if I pulled it as a card of the day I would think what do I need to sort of cleanse and, and, and what do I need to have a look at and focus on that, that perhaps I need to um, maybe not a completely let go but I might have to reevaluate. I would definitely look at my creative projects and make sure that I wasn't getting muddled with my thinking and I'd have a look at stepping it up to the next level as well. In an oracle reading, if it was the first card down, it would be those connections. If it was the outcome card, I would be looking, what can I do in order for that to happen? I'd be looking at the other cards mm -hmm. and it would change as we go into different positions as well. Love bottle brush, love all flowers. Who am I kidding? I hope that gives you a little bit more information about bottle brush there it is there and then what it looks like in real life again this is oh I don't want to pull him out of my little wooden vase I bought him inside it's absolutely beautiful isn't it you can ju I just feel just so calm when it's around it's just such a beautiful 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 flower that just it makes you sort of centered and think that's what how I sort of feel I feel calmer I've sort of let some things go and, and I just feel like I'm ready for the next thing. It's, it's very much aligned with those sorts of things. So that is your beautiful red bottle brush. So I hope you, if you can, grow bottle brush. I hope you bring it into your readings as well and I hope you understand a little bit more about that. May nature always bless you, my friend. Until next time, bye.